Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hi. I'm Craig. Ah, man, public speaking. Oh, I'd rather be dead. After all, listen, people rate public speaking as the number one fear, even over dying. It's crazy. But today, what I'm going to do for you and you and you is I'm going to give you a few steps that will help you become a better public speaker, whether you're giving a wedding toast, whether you're speaking at a funeral, or whether you're standing in front of a thousand people hanging on every word. Because the cool thing is, like everybody goes to a seminar or a presentation because they want to hear what you have to say. My friend Sean Stevenson, who passed away, he was the three foot giant. He lived his life in a wheelchair and he had the most powerful story, but I'll tell you one thing. He gave this piece of advice that changed my life because I used to hate being a speaker. I used to stand up there and talk like a robot and oh my goodness, is my time up? I can't wait to get out of here. I hated it. I hated it. But Sean Stevenson at one of the Genius Network 10 minute talks, he said, all you got to do is make them laugh make them cry and change their lives. And he went on to do that. He had us laughing so hard. And then he brought in a sentimental story and we were crying and he left us with that wisdom, which did change our lives. Because I realize now, even though I am slightly introverted, going up on stage, people want a performance. They want you to lift them up, to elevate them, to help them escape and to give them the wisdom. And so that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, right? That's all you have to do, right? And so it's a learnable skill. That's the greatest news. It's a learnable skill. So let's start with following through from Sean's advice. Make them laugh, make them cry, change their lives. I want to talk to you about the three E formula. When you have the three E formula going for you, it allows you to elevate yourself from okay to excellent. And it goes like this. First of all, energy, Urgh, energy. Yes. Being pumped up, d conveying that energy to other people is so powerful because they're sitting there in their chair and they're like, and if you come on and you go, Hey everyone, I'm just going to talk like this for a while. Well, they're going to fall asleep in their chair. But if you come on and say, good morning, and they say, good morning, you go, no, good morning. I said, good morning. And they'll go, good morning. And you've already elevated their energy. It's really wonderful. And then enthusiasm, being really excited about what you're going to speak to them about being excited that you have this chance to share an hour or 10 minutes or 30 minutes with them really hits them in the heart and they go, wow, this person really brought them best selves today. And then the third E is expertise. Listen, when I first started speaking 25 years ago, I didn't really know my stuff that well. But in order to become a better speaker, you do sometimes have to go up there and not know your stuff that well and speak. But I became more of an expert and the more I became an expert, the easier it became for me to go up and speak. For example, I made a similar video to this on YouTube several years ago and it's not halfway as good because I'm more of an expert in speaking these days and I have more energy and more enthusiasm and it shines through to you. Now you're probably wondering, well, I'm already an expert and I totally believe it. I know you are, but how do I get energy and enthusiasm if it's not natural to me? And I don't believe you're an introvert, but I am. This is just a performance. I'm up here performing for you. So how do you get energy and enthusiasm? Well, how do you get better at anything? You practice. So what I want you to do is pull out this phone every single day. And what you're going to do is you're going to talk into this phone for a minute, one minute. You can choose the topic. You can talk about carrots. You can talk about t-shirts. You can talk about the color red. You can talk about your favorite sports team. You can talk about what's wrong with the world today. All you have to do is talk. Now, eventually what you should do is start talking about some of your expertise. And soon as you do the minute every single day, you'll become more confident on camera. Now I actually made most of my money selling fitness programs to people and I helped them lose weight. And what I said is you can have a physical transformation 
without a mental transformation. When you have that physical transformation, you become a totally different person. You improve your confidence. Likewise, when you do the one minute every single day, you'll become more confident on camera and you'll actually become more confident in real life, which will allow you to go out and talk to people, It'll allow you to talk to people at Starbucks, maybe meet somebody of the opposite sex. Simply getting better at video might find you the love of your life. And so, when you practice for the one minute every single day, it's gonna help. But, if you wanna go next level, and you wanna go next level, right? Then what you're gonna do is a 10 minute monologue twice per week that you could eventually turn into a YouTube video. A 10 minute monologue. So, set up your camera on a tripod, maybe get a couple of props, maybe some books, and talk for 10 minutes. And then start talking about your expertise. Two 10 minute videos is gonna exercise your talking muscle. Because introverts like me, we don't talk that much. Some people talk all day long. And I love you. I love you still, but sometimes don't talk so much. But most people don't talk enough. And when you talk more, you're developing the skill. You're also learning how to deal with tricky phrases and vary your pitch pains. And when you talk more, you learn to deal with tricky phrases and vary your pitch, pace, and tonality. And that's what people want in a speaker. They don't want somebody who just reads off the screen. They want somebody with energy, enthusiasm, and expertise. So when you have the practice, and when you have the energy, enthusiasm, and expertise, now, now we put the icing on the cake, and that's learning how to tell stories. Think about one of the hardest times in your life. For example, for me, it was January 1st, 2006. I had done binge drinking session the night before and I woke up the next morning and I wasn't feeling great, obviously, but I went into the shower and the shower started coming down on me. My heart started pounding like a jackhammer. And I was like, oh my God, this is the worst I've ever felt. Maybe I'll just need some Gatorade and sleep it off. But it went on for hours and hours and hours. And eventually there was a point in my day where I was pacing my tiny little apartment thinking that I was going to die. And that moment in my life, I thought, oh my God, my mom is going to be so embarrassed. Personal trainer dies in apartment, lonely, like a cat lady. <sighs> Man, I didn't want that to happen. And so eventually I broke down and I went to the emergency room. And I sat, walked in and I remember saying to this young man, I think I'm having a heart attack. And he looked at me, he went from, what are you doing here, to, oh, we better get you back there real quick. And that was a turning point in my life because I knew so many things had to change. I had to give up my bad habits and I had to start putting in place so many more good habits. And it changed my personality. It just changed the complete course of my life. And so that's not the most emotional story in the world. I'm sure you didn't cry. Maybe you had a little giggle there. But... That's what you need to be able to do, is be able to tell stories. And when you can tell stories, you can get people to laugh, you can get people to cry, and your message means so much more to them. So that, my friend, is how you'll be able to stand up in front of an audience of 10 or 10,000 people and make them laugh and make them cry and change their lives. So. Over to you, my friend. Are you gonna whip out the phone? Are you gonna do your videos every single day for the next 30 days minimum, one minute a day, plus the two 10-minute YouTube videos? You're gonna become a great public speaker. You're gonna learn how to transfer your energy, enthusiasm, and expertise to the world because the world needs you now more than ever, my friend. So thanks for being here. I want you to drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're gonna promise that you're gonna bring your message to the world through better public speaking, that you're gonna make videos, that you're gonna share that message, that you're gonna transfer your energy and enthusiasm. And remember, my friend Sean Stevenson passed away, but he didn't pass away before leaving that incredibly valuable piece of information. Because Sean's mission in life was to rid the world of insecurity. The insecurity that we have when we go to do a video or speak or start a business or start a new relationship. And if we can do one thing, it's to honor Sean's memory by making people laugh, making people cry, 
and getting them to change their lives. Oh, and that leaves me with one last piece of advice. If you can wrap up your speech and tie it up with a bow and bring the conclusion back to the beginning, that's when you're a master storyteller and I know you've got it in you. All right, so drop that comment down below. Let me know how you're gonna go and grow in your speaking abilities and then make sure to watch my next video. It will change your life.